morning everyone welcome to another edition of the sunday sunshine show um that is a collaboration between myself uh busy b marie who's uh lives in las vegas uh maria crocker and karen from geordie grandma we get together every sunday morning uh and have different topics and different we do different things. So anyway, uh, this week, what we're going to talk about is our evening skincare. Now, it's not evening, but um, I am going out later on. So I do need um, to take all my makeup off. And I'm going to do exactly the procedure that I would do as if I was going to bed. Uh, now, after you've watched this, um, pop along to the other girls' channels and see what their evening skincare is like. I'm sure it'd probably be better than mine. <laughs> but anyway, uh, here goes. You will have to excuse the noise in the background. It's my washer. My son's put his washing in. Right, so let's get started. Now, I'm not an advocate of any particular brand of um, cleansers because um, I use, I just, I personally, I don't think it's what products you use. I think it's um, the method that you use. Uh, now, I um, use different products. Um, I'm quite gullible, so I'll get stuck into somebody will be showing something and I'll try it. But I do think it's the process of um, cleansing and, and, and putting um, your products on. I don't really think it matters. That's just my opinion. I know some have probably got a lot better um ingredients in um but i mean we can't all afford them can we now the first thing that i always do is i, I always do a double cleanse oh my, my washer's making a funny noise um now this i can't even remember what it's called i think i got it in a beauty box apothecary revive um i usually like you know um i don't know what you call it like it's like um you know like a waxy jelly thing i like the um that washer does not sound healthy does it uh, i like the liqueur ones i think that sounds expensive i like the liqueur ones i like the elemis one uh but the the elemis is so expensive this is one i had in a, a beauty box and i'm just trying to uh use it up I think these are really good for getting your eye makeup on. I mean, I'm, I don't wear masses of eye makeup, but your mascara always makes a mess, doesn't it? Well, this this is um, quite a like a sparry smell, I would say. So I would go all over with this to get the bulk of your makeup off, and then I like these little cloth. Or, or those but i was watching i was going to say rosie henshaw but it wasn't rosie tilly and she buys you know these um well i don't think they're like duster cloths she said it's exactly the same fabric and it works out much cheaper so she buys those and uses those for cleansing um i might dry my face off with that so uh i'll now take this off do you know my washer sounds very unhealthy Sounds like something's loose in it, doesn't it? Look at that. So I am going to now dip that in some water. I've just got a little bowl of water here. Obviously, I'd normally do this upstairs in the bathroom. And go over it again. So that's my first cleanse. You can see there's quite a lot come off, but it's a makeup I've had on. Now for the second cleanse, I like to use one of these, um, you know, the cream cleansers. This is um, a brightening one. Uh, I usually get the Lecura ones actually, and I like all of them. And this is like, you put it on, it's like a creamy one. And then what you do is it like goes soapy. This smells lovely, it's an orange uh, fragrance one. So 
So then I would dip my cloth in um, in some water. That's just one thing I've always done a double cleanse. And one thing I never would do is go to bed with my makeup on. And I know some people do. And my sister-in-law used to. Sadly, my sister-in-law that died. Um, and she still had amazing skin. But it's just something I've always been told not to do. So I would never go to bed with my makeup on. Oh gosh, my washer sounds really unhealthy. So this is a, a clean down dust because I don't know how. But as I say, Rosie Tilly says she uses these as makeup cloth and do her cart structure a lot cheaper. You see, I've still got some uh, eye makeup on. Wouldn't you think, I, tr I used a different mascara today, look. That's the trouble with me with mascaras. Um, I think I'll just put a little bit, I used to use um, an eye makeup remover and, and of all of them I like the number 7 one the best, I just haven't bought one lately, although somebody was saying that the uh, Nivea one's very good, because you don't want to be rubbing your eyes too much, must get back to using that. Right, right, so we'll get rid of that bowl with the water in. Right, then usually what I do do is I usually put on the serum. Um, now, I've got, I usually, I don't really know what good it does, but I've got, I like these that I got from Current Body. And there's a hydrolonic, I can't say it, hydrolonic acid one. And then this is, I think this is the same. Super hydration lotion, anti-aging, super hydration, hyaluronic acid and collagen. And retinol. Oh, this has got retinol in. Well, to be truthful, I saw this. They were advertising this ages ago on this morning. And they were, this lady was saying how good it was. It's called Japan's number one skincare line. And it's Hado Labo Tokyo. She said it was really, really good. So I ordered some from Amazon. I do. I think it was about £17. And do you know it's lasted for ages. So I'll, I'll just pump some of that on my hand. I would use this. It's like a serum. I would use this or the the um, hydrolonic or glyconic acid. Now, no expert. I don't. I don't know anything about skincare. I just know what works for mine. But somebody, if you wanted to follow somebody who's really really good at recommending skincare, and I have bought something recently that she's recommended. Um, it's Pampered Wolf, it's a video channel called Pampered Wolf and it's really good, the YouTube channel should I say, she's really good and I, she's got Gemma she's called, she's got beautiful skin, um, she does have um, a little bit of Botox and what have you, which I've never had done, not that I'm against it but it's probably just not for me, um, but I think she had her lips done um a few times because she's talked about it but her and her mother have got beautiful skins and her mother's 70 i think she looks amazing and she talks about the things that are obviously she's got loads of products that she's had sent but it is it's really interesting right so i just let that dry off a little bit and then i will put a night cream on oh i forgot something <laughs> i forgot i'm rubbish uh, before I put that on, normally, I would put my toner on. Shall we go back a bit? <laughs> so, um, I wonder if you can put toner on top of that. <laughs> Mr. Pastry Strikes again. So, 
So I'll put a little bit of toner. I forgot we're chatting. I do always put toner on, and this is just a Liqueur one. I'm quite happy with the Liqueur products. They've, they've all suited my skin. I just put like that on. I don't know it's a good idea to put it on top of that. Maybe not. So just think of these as about to, and I'll put a little bit more of that on. I do like the feeling of this on your skin. Right. Now this is um, a healthy glow vitamin, t vitamin C toner. So I've used two vitamin C products. But that's just pot luck because if, I like the rose one as well. Right, I'll put a little bit more of this on. This has lasted ages. I'm sure it was about £17. But they say, don't they, that the um, Asian skincare is really good. Right. Let that dry off a little bit. And then it's the Liqueur Queen again. Um, I would then put a night cream on. Now it just so happens that at the moment I'm trying to use all my products up because um, I've got lots of like half done products if you know what I mean and this is a caviar one it's the Liqueura caviar that's supposed to be a copy of something expensive anti-age night cream so I would then you can see I've used quite a lot of this So I would then put that on. I never know how much stuff to put on, do you? Don't you pull faces when you do this? So, you're supposed to go that way, aren't you? Away from the heart, apparently. Anyway, um, if I have any left, what I do is I rub it on the back of my hands. I'm always very conscious of my hands, of my old hands. <laughs> right, so I would now be ready for bed. So I'd normally try and let that dry off a bit. The other thing that I do have that I love, and I've probably mentioned it before, is I do have a silk pillowcase. I'm a big believer in a silk pillowcase you can tell the difference and i don't mean a satin one you can buy satin ones i've done that in the past thinking it was silk it's not the same as a silk one um you need a proper silk pillowcase um th they are very very good right so that is the end of my skincare routine so if you've enjoyed this video i'd love you to pop along to the other girls channels i'll put all the links in the description box um and let me know if you're enjoying these uh, sunday morning shows and if you've got any ideas what we can do um because you know we get together online like um and and discuss them all the time but you can't always think of different things to do so if you've got any ideas um let us know so if I was going to bed, I'd be going to bed, but I'm actually going out. It's my brother's birthday. So I'm going to leave that on my face and let it sink in. Um, and then in another, maybe another hour, I'll put my makeup on. Right. So thank you very much for watching and bye bye. And I'll see you on my next video and, and tune in next Sunday at 7.30 for the Sunday Sunshine Show. Bye.